Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion is Chukat, and we learned some very important lessons in it. There's a whole discussion about the red heifer and finding this perfect animal. And the question is why? What do we need about this one animal and what makes it so perfect? And the end result is that the pursuit of perfection becomes sort of our mantra. Long before Lexus laid out the commercials that said the relentless pursuit of perfection, we Jews were going after that ideal. And we did it in all sorts of ways. One way was through purity, and we made sure that we were ritually pure and clean time after time. And that meant dipping in ritual baths, and it meant finding this perfect cow to make sure that we could do the whole ritual the way our ancestors perceived it to be perfect. The reality is our world doesn't work that way anymore, and we don't find that kind of perfection around us. But that shouldn't hold us back from pursuing perfection, because in the pursuit, much knowledge and wisdom are gained. When we pursue perfection, we push ourselves to see just how far we can go, how much we can achieve. And when we set the bar high, then inevitably wherever we end up is going to be higher than had we not set that high bar. And so our Jewish tradition says, yes, you're not going to reach the end, but neither are you free to desist from trying. And so the red heifer is an example where we don't pursue it precisely as it says in the Torah, but still we, per we pursue perfection, we pursue the ideal, and we hold out hope that together, collectively, we can reach that higher place. Shabbat services this Friday evening will be at the temple at 6 o'clock p.m., uh, Saturday morning we'll have Torah study at 10, preceded of course by text study at 9, and followed by Shabbat services at 11 a.m. And next week we will celebrate the 4th of July and the welcoming of our new cantor. We're thrilled to have cantor Kari Siegel Eglesh in town and to be a part of our family. And I can't wait personally to share the pulpit with her and to join and create a new partnership with her and with all of you. I think together we can create an even more perfect temple, a temple filled with greater joy, greater music, and an even greater sense of what is possible and what we can accomplish together. For now, Shabbat Shalom. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.